Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 15 called Rise and Shine. And my god, this was an action-packed episode. Like a lot of stuff. Jump back at me. Look at all these notes. If you can see it all. Usually it only goes up to here. So we got like a lot of stuff. So anyway... We start off with uh, Coulson in the room, and um, Hale comes in, and they, she basically says, um, it's Hydra, and it's time for you to hear her story. But she also wants to merge S.H.I.E.L.D. with Hydra to defeat a common enemy. So, we, so she tells her story, and we go to 28 years ago, where Hale is in class, basically Hydra boot camp class. And tells to a sit well. And we found out that he loses his hair. Like, all of it. And my dog's in the room. So then, uh, turns out there's a lecture in class with, uh, with Whitehall, which is a callback to him. And then um, they're close to creating a particle infusion, infusion chamber. Basically, what he said was it forces cells to um into raw material so basically a creole you know that can just turn into any type of metal and then um basically then um whitehall says like what is a better element than the one they listed von strucker another callback is says mentions a element but um, Hale says, that's stupid. You need to go to the outer space and create a material out there. And he actually liked that idea, and he approves. Then we cut to where Hale's in the training room, and she's doing her sets. And then some guys put extra weight on it, and she'll sorry pretty much out of her max anyway. But she manages to throw it off, and then she literally goes crazy on Von Strucker because he was one that orchestrated it. And then everyone gets the results back of where they're going to be infiltrating in and Sybil's one to Hydra. And then Hale gets someone to talk to Whitehall so they go talk and basically um, part of the rituals you have a dog and you have to get rid of your dog permanently. And basically She's going to be in his program, but not in the way she thinks. She's going to be artificially disseminated with the best genes possible when the time comes. But in the meantime, you can be in the Air Force. And maybe be an astronaut. And she is she doesn't want to do it, but she says, you know, she's in Hail Hydra and all that stuff. And then uh, then we go. Then we go to two years ago, where Ruby's in school, tossed to hell during breakfast time, and then we see that um, Shield has Malik, and so she talks to the general guy, and the guy says they're talking to an alien race called the Confederacy, and that is up to her now. It's going to be in the vault, and then. Before she can't say any more, Talbot comes in and tells um, Hale to move away. And so the general says, Hell Hydra, and basically offs himself with, um, what, I forgot what it is. I think it's cyanide or something. And then, and then, then they're going back to the, basically the school. And Ruby is testing out the guy because she doesn't want to kill her dog. She's like, why do I need to do that? And he actually put her hands on her. So Hale comes in and literally offs him off. And just like, no, no, no. So now they're the final two heads of Hydra. And then we go to six months ago where Talbot is actually alive. But has like severe, well not severe, he, he has um, some brain damage. Thanks to the LMD of Daisy. And Hale wants to move him, and so basically he's doing memory cards with his son, and he messes up, and he gets kind of violent, so he gets 
uh, it gets sedated. And then he, um, then he wakes up in, the, in a room and he goes to the cafeteria where he sees Ruby, but she ignores him, which he, obviously he doesn't like. And then we have um, basically him confront her, and so she disarms him, and then Hale talks to him. And she, they have um, a device to communicate with the aliens and stuff, and want, wants um, him to meet with them face to face, and uh, basically struck a deal about. Um, war coming to Earth, basically, like, if we, if we do what you say, they will protect us from the impending war. And then, uh, Talbot gets pissed because he knows that she's Hydra, and he's just hella mad about it. And he says, um, he hit the hit Hydra contraband, he's not going to help out, he is done with this, so Ruby chains into a wheelchair and it's going to force information out of him. And then we have 24 hours ago where Coulson is in the room. He's in the cafeteria. And then Ruby comes in and ignores him, but he kind of just blows her off and French does his own thing. Gets some cereal and goes back to his room. Then Hale talks to him, uh, shows him the device, and so they activate the device and go talk to the aliens. And then he gets, um, this device goes on his forehead where he gets a picture uh, visions of alien warships and stuff and so they go back to the um, the school and then basically the aliens won't grab a tonium and the inhumans but they both don't like the deal so they're going to try to be betray the deal and she wants to use the infuser and she wanted to originally have it on Ruby, but she's not ready because she is a little bit bratty and crap. So she's definitely not mature enough to handle it. So she so Hale wants to use Daisy to do it. <clears throat> and Colson is hella against it. <laughs> and so basically he tells her what happened to them that they went to the future and basically how she became the destroyer of worlds. <clears throat> she doesn't believe him and basically sends him back to his room. Then Ruby talks to him and says, like, she wants to know how did she fail. And she and then he said, like, oh, oh honey, it's not you. And Ruby says, like, honey, it's not you. It's someone else. And so she also put two and two together with Daisy. And she's like, I want Daisy. He's, he goes, what you need is a medication and a high dosage of it. <clears throat> and then she will say she'll to try to chop off his head or something, but she doesn't do it. And she's like, we're going to talk to the last guy who told me no and didn't give me answers. And they bring in Talbot. And turns out he told him everything. And he it's like a profusely apologizing to Colson about it. And then they escort him out of the room. Then we go to now where Daisy and May are trying to make connections and trying to figure out, then they figure out that Hale is actually Hydra and all this type of stuff. Then May tells it fits and she tells him to dive deep into that persona that he was in a framework and try to find some answers. And then we cut to where Simmons successfully did the surgery with Yo-Yo and so now she's going to have robotic arms. And then we have Mac is uh, concerned because she keeps saying that like nothing can hurt, nothing can hurt me. I'm going to live forever until that moment, so I'm basically invincible. And then uh, Daisy uh, talks to Fitz because Fitz wants to have access to the computers and to the labs to try to figure out um, why they want the gravitoni, why they want what they want. And just trying to find Colson and all this type of stuff. So, um, Daisy's not having that. And she literally blasts him with her powers. And then we cut to Daisy is going to go after, uh, go, is going to go see Robin. So she's going to put herself in jeopardy and Robin into jeopardy and the whole thing. Which is obviously not a good idea. 
But she's doing it anyway. Then Simmons and Fitz talk and tells them about Deke as a grandkid. And he's kind of not happy about it. He's like, he, first he's like excited, like, oh, we're going to be invincible and all this stuff. He's like, but my dog's going to make some space bum and have Deke? Really? <laughs> so he's also not happy about Deke because he's like, he's so dumb. But he's not really dumb, but. But anyway, this was a really good episode. I really liked it. I like how packed it was. You learned like so much stuff about what's going to be happening. And I'm super excited for it. And I'll give this episode A+. It was so good. I like the... I liked how they kind of broke up the episode and basically you have your time frames and stuff and basically when people meet Ruby it's always in the same way. Oh, first they wake up in the room, then they go to the cafeteria where Ruby ignores them, but then you have all the different scenarios of what's happened. So I really, really like that. I think it's super interesting on how that works. So anyway, and I'm super excited for the rest of the season. Like, insanely excited so anyway that's what i do it for this episode so that's wonderful for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think of the episode do you agree or you disagree and then subscribe for more stuff and i hope y'all enjoyed this video and also if you have any suggestions for any tv shows music or movies let me know down below there as well and i'll check it out and i want y'all have a super awesome day, evening, night, whenever you watch this. Have a good one. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.